Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim. Today I want to talk to you a little bit more because we've already touched on a little bit before, but we want to talk to you specifically today about mounting Lego pieces, Lego elements, onto the Tetrix Max building system, both Max and Prime. I've got an example of uh, an actual robot here. This is one of the early robots that I did that, that actually, as you can see, has got a fairly large amount of Lego mounted on it. It is an excellent option for you uh, as far as if you want to really expand your building technique, both with a metal, stronger metal base, but still stay with some of the Lego uh, elements and Lego controller. But we really kind of need to be aware of a couple things that is going to make your life a little bit easier as a Lego builder when you're using it with the metal subsystem or substructure, and that is spacing. You really want to be aware of the proper use of spacing when you connect and interchange between the two. Now, you've got a couple different mounting options uh, to actually connect to both systems, but let's start with... I'm going to pull this off real quick. Um, start with the Max side of things. And what we have traditionally used, I'm going to pull these apart um, so that we can kind of see what we're talking about here. And that's the hard point connector. This was the original connecting point that we created for interfacing the Lego piece to um, the metal building system. And basically, it is something that we can... Uh, with the, the metal uh, cap screws, we can actually bolt this plastic piece onto the metal substructure. And then as you see right here, the Lego beams will actually slip through and then we can use the Lego connector pegs to fasten that in place. Once you've done that, it becomes a very secure mounting point for Lego construction to move off of that. Um, the difficulty with that is that sometimes it's a little bit harder to, with this hardpoint connector, manage additional LEGO pieces off this uh, connection point. With the um, release of the patented uh, quick connector, or quick uh, rivet peg from the Prime system, we have a little bit more options that make our system work a little bit better. But it does require that we have a spacing piece between the surface of the max or prime beam and the rivet because we want to maintain a proper distance and this rivet's been designed so that if we have a two millimeter thickness and that's what the thickness is of um, the prime flat or the max flats the spacers if we have that thickness and we use the uh, lego connector peg and we we maintain that thickness in the different dimensions, different planes, then we will also maintain our Lego dimension. So that if I put this together like so, then I have a connector point that I can put on here as well as this direction. And these Lego pieces will actually interact with each other in the same and proper dimensions. And I have an example of that, kind of an extreme example in a mishmash um, this really isn't designed to do anything other than show that I can connect proper uh, spacing and dimensions in the different planes because I have the proper spacing. The uh, external brackets that we have with Prime have the same two millimeter thickness that I talked uh, about being necessary. And when I put the Crick Rivet pegs in there with the Lego connector pegs, you can see that I maintain my Lego dimensions in that same plane, whether it be this plane, um, this plane, or this plane, and they all will interact together. Um, so again, if, as long as you maintain that proper uh, spacing with the two millimeter on top of the Lego, either the, the uh, hard point connector or the quick rivet, you can actually very successfully connect Lego to the Max or Prime pieces. An example of it, like I said, is, is this robot right here where I've got a prime base, I've got some maxima elements on it, and but then I also have uh, more of an extensive Lego construction on top of that. So I hope you found that beneficial. hope it inspires you to perhaps maybe use some Lego elements on your Tetris connection or uh, creation. And uh, remember, have fun building those robots and come back and see us.